Tonight, police are investigating a deadly crash involving two cars packed with teens and young adults. Why officers believe alcohol may have played a role. And a former gay bathhouse is now the scene of an arson investigation. What we now know about this Ybor City fire and taking health care, talking health care, taking it on the road. How the president, the vice president, selling the White House's new plan to the American people. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ron Carter. Thanks so much for joining us on this Saturday night. Tonight, we begin with a horrible crash that left one person dead and several others injured. Injured, and all of them are teens or young adults. That crash happened overnight in Clearwater, and nine people were involved. News Channel Ace Jamel Lene is joining us live tonight at the intersection of McMullen Booth Road and Curlew Road in Clearwater, where this crash happened. Jamel? Good evening, Rod. Yeah, we're told right here in this corner is where one of those vehicles rolled over. We're told another one caught on fire. Troopers say alcohol was definitely involved. Just before one Saturday morning, troopers say Donovan Patterson, who was in a Dodge Caliber, with his five passengers were headed south on McMullen Booth Road, approaching Curlew Road. Investigators tell us Patterson failed to stop at a red light and collided with Dalton Cox, driving a Ford truck who was making a left-hand turn onto McMullen Booth Road from Curlew Road. Cox had three people in his truck. We've learned 18-year-old Jocelyn Shermer, who was in Patterson's vehicle, died at the scene. All eight other passengers were rushed to local hospitals. Troopers say evidence of alcohol was found at the scene. Clearwater Police Department officials tell us this may not be spring break related, but they are asking people to be cautious. One thing we want to point out in this crash that there was um, several underage um, occupants that were possibly drinking in this car. Um, there were also beer bottles found at the scene. The biggest thing that we can remind people, whether you're a spring breaker, whether you're a local person, is to just drive safely. Not to, um, it doesn't make, um, it doesn't make sense to be in a rush. It doesn't make sense to drink and drive. It doesn't make sense to not wear your seatbelt. And we're told that those who were injured, their conditions are listed from critical to serious to minor. Again, they were transported to at least four different local hospitals. And again, troopers are investigating this crash. Rod. All right. Jamel and reporting live for us in Clearwater. Jamel, thank you.